Hello everyone. So today I have come with very amazing problem. I gave this uh, problem to my students and surprisingly all made some mistake here and uh, it's a very common mistake and uh, so this problem proved to be a very good challenge. It was uh, modified from a uh, maths puzzle and uh, converted into a physics problem. So let's uh, discuss this. So it is the problem statement. A, pyra a pyramid with the square base with each side length uh, as L is shown in the uh, diagram. An insect is present at point A which can only crawl and cannot fly. With a time dependent acceleration A0 as shown, find the least time in which the in insect will reach uh, point P and this is given as A0 is equal to KT and this point P is midpoint here. I should have mentioned in the problem but it is midpoint all right so just keep this in mind let's discuss this and I have done this kind of problems earlier also in the channel so I was expecting more number of students will be solving it correctly so concept wise let's discuss uh, the concept wise in order to cover the journey in a minimum time Insect will choose a path of minimum length and will travel with the maximum possible speed. Now second thing here which you will notice is uh, since acceleration is increasing with time because it is given as kt so speed will keep on increasing so at any given instant it will be maximum only whatever maximum possible uh, is uh, uh, in the journey is possible it will be traveling with that maximum speed at that particular instant. And least path can be found by opening the pyramid in the plane and then directly joining the two points by a straight line. So this is the concept I taught uh, in the class and uh, here on the channel also you will have some problems related to this. So this is a new application you can say and uh, yeah so if you look at uh, the scenario here you can see two possible paths. <coughs> One is uh, the insect will travel on the uh, square uh, section and then will be traveling to the triangular part and second path can be it will be tra traveling to this triangle and then it will be traveling to another triangle we don't know where these uh, uh, exchanging points will be present that means where exactly it will be changing but this is the idea that there are these two possibilities here one will be moving on the square base and then on the triangular face here it will travel from triangle to triangular face. We have to minimize these distances. That is the logic here. So uh, first uh, let's call this as path 1 and this is path 2. So if we see path 1. So in the path 1 this kind of situation will come. We will open this uh, pyramid and directly from point A to P. This is the midpoint here. So we know this distance is L by 2. This is L and angles are also known to us. 60, 60, 60. This angle is 60. So this is L by 2. You can find out this distance. This is known to you. And uh, similarly, this distance is known to you. So this is known to you. Means remaining distance is known to you. And this one is also known to you. Now we can apply Pythagoras theorem in order to calculate length AP in path 1. And which turn out to be AP is equal to L by 2 root of uh, 7 plus 2 root 3 so we will be just uh, leaving it as it is uh, here i'm not showing this calculation because it's a very simple geometry i hope you can uh, you will not struggle in this so this is the idea for this now when we look at path 2 there is another possibility by which this uh, pyramid can be opened and this is where the students have made mistake and i was surprised everyone went ahead with the this possibility and none of them have thought about uh, the possibility too. That means this face, when it is adjacent to it, it gives us a very different solution. You can check here. Uh, we can just uh, you know fold it and you can see this is the length AP. We have to check if it is less than that or more than that. Now we know this angle is L, this angle is L by 2, pi by 3, pi by 3. So cos rule we can apply in the in this triangle and directly this side we can calculate and we are going to get this AP length in case 2 as L by 2 uh, root 7 so you can clearly see that uh, the length in path 2 the AP length in path 2 will be less than this number which is length in 
part one so once we decide that this is the shortest path and in this it will be traveling with maximum possible speed so here i can say <clears throat> so a naught is given as kt and that is equal to dv by dt so we, you know v as a function of time and i can write it as ds by dt so finally we will be getting ds is equal to k by 2 times so t square dt so limit of s uh, will be length of path 2 which is l by 2 root 7 so i'm writing it as l by 2 root 7 and this will become kt cube by 6 and from here this time of travel we will get if we simplify this we are going to get t is equal to 3 root 7 by l uh, 3 root 7 l by k times 1 by 3 its power 1 by 3 so this is going to be the final answer guys and uh, i hope you have enjoyed this problem it's uh, slightly tricky and if you are uh, not careful you will be making the mistake in this so i hope uh, you have enjoyed this and if that is the case please don't forget to like this video subscribe this channel and uh, tell this about this channel to more and more people it will be helpful for me and uh, guys this is uh, an academy compete where you can uh, you know participate in uh, small battles of uh, pcm and uh, based on that your uh, ratings will come you can uh, play duels against anyone in this and it's a very fantastic feature of uh, for improving the subject so just give it a try and anyone who is looking for a state cet so which is launching on uh, november 1st so there is some discount related to that you can use my code nitin sir if you are interested in this and otherwise also if you are uh, if you are looking for joining uh, live classes on an academy platform with me you can use my code nitin sir so guys that's it in this video i'll be coming up with another amazing video very soon and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe this thank you